welcome back to my channel. We have another fox eye like look. I just have been loving the way that this looks just because I feel like I naturally don't have a very fierce looking face. It kind of helps <laughs> that. I just think that this is so pretty. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to be notified every time I make a video, then make sure to press the bell. So if you guys want to see how I create this look, then keep on watching. Honestly, you guys, I am just as sick of this background as I'm sure you guys are. And hopefully, this will be the last video that I'll have to deal with this chaos. Because I'm not into it. I'm not into it. I'm going to be using the Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum from Supergoop. For foundation, I'm going to actually use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. This is in 117Y225. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape and this is in the color Light Sand. I'm going to be using the same technique that I kind of did before where I kind of exaggerate the amount that I put on my under eye. And I'm doing this so it just looks like my eyes are more lifted. I'm just gonna do a quick cream contour and this is the Dr. Jar BB Matte Contour and this is in the color 3 Bronzing. I also saw this girl apply it in between her eye and eyebrow and that really made her eyes look even more winged out. I'm gonna go in with my Instamark and I'm gonna take this yellow shade and I'm gonna just lightly powder my face. It is time to do brows and you know that's like my least favorite thing so I'm gonna just speed through that real quick. I'm gonna go in with the Love Flush and I'm actually gonna use Baby Love for my base color. I'm then gonna mix this color from the Warm Tone palette. This is called Toasted Pecan. And I'm going to apply that on top. Also going to go in with Justify My Love. And I'm going to apply that towards the outer ends. So I'm going to use Deep Wine to make my eyeliner. And I'm actually gonna mix that very slightly with Your Love is King. I'm gonna blend it out with Your Love is King. I'm gonna go back in with that pecan color and I'm gonna just blend the colors a little bit more. So my inner corner is like the one thing I just have to do with 
my eyeliner so I'm gonna use my gel liner and I'm gonna just make my inner corner real quick So last time I actually made my eyes matte, but this time I want to add a little bit of sparkles. I'm going to just apply the tiniest bit and I'm going to be using C17 in Glam Wine. And I'm going to just lightly add it all over my lid. Kind of want a little bit more, so I'm going to use C2 Antique Coral and I'm going to put that on the inner portion of my lid. Personally, I like just having something on my lower lid because I just feel like it looks so bare. So I'm going to go in with that pecan color and I'm going to just apply it very lightly. I also want to use that same antique coral color and I'm going to apply that on the inner portion. I'm going to use the same lash prep that I use for everything and that's a doctor mascara and I'm going to start with volume up. I'm going to apply that to all my lashes. And then I'm going to go with a long lash and I'm going to apply that to my bottom lashes. I'm going to use my favorite mascara. This is the Etude House Curl Fix. And I'm going to apply that very lightly on my upper lashes. So I'm going to try to use a more natural lash this time. This one is the Ardell Faux Mink and this is an 812. So normally I actually apply them really close to my lash line but for some reason because of the way that my eyelids fold um, it like messes up the look so I actually have to apply it with my eyes open and just apply it like very high up. It's honestly very weird but it works and that's all that matters. I just feel like this time this is like a lot more like wispier and less crazy compared to the other one i think honestly the lashes being far away really help it just i am going to do my bottom lashes and i'm going to be using the same brown mascara that i always use i'm gonna just lightly put a little something on my bottom lashes for this gap that's happening there, I'm gonna take a darker eyeshadow and I'm gonna actually just fill it in. So I'm gonna go in with C15 Dark Brown and I'm gonna mix it with the wine. And I'm actually going to take a brush and I'm gonna just fill it in because I just don't want people to see it. I kind of feel like we're missing a little something something. So I'm gonna actually use this glitter and I'm gonna apply it right on the inner portion just a very very little <laughs> I'm going to contour using my instamark and I'm going to just quickly contour my face Blush, I'm going to just mix a little bit of baby love and justify my love together. And I'm gonna just do a very light blush. Never tried this, but I don't wanna use the same opal highlight I've been using, um, especially because it's so much more golden undertone and I feel like this look is like very plummy. So I'm actually going to try this C13 cream soda and try to lightly apply that and hope that it comes out like highlight <laughs> oh. For lips, I'm going to go in with the Marta Jacobs Lamarck. So here is the final look. Um, it still has a bit of that very like foxy look, 
but I wanted to go a little bit more on like the pinker side and just try like different colors. We do have sparkles going on, but I'm really interested in doing this look whenever I go out or for whatever event that I have to go to for work or maybe, I don't know, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I will use anything as an excuse to be able to look like this. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely something that I want to continue to play around with. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys next time. Bye!